gonna be filming this makeup look. I definitely wanted it to be like Hobbit inspired. Uh, if you can't tell by my decorations, <laughs> definitely something I love. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so Rusty came to give us a visit, so we're just giving him some pats. So I'm just going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and I put on some primer on the spots where I feel like my pores tend to be more prominent. So I kind of kept bouncing back and forth between Hobbit and Elf. Um, I ended up trying to elongate my brows a little bit. For the eyeshadow, I really wanted to go with a lot of terracotta type colors. Not really sure what the shades are between red and orange, but just that kind of like burnt red colors. And the shade Sun from BH Cosmetics is so beautiful. It's got these really shimmery, glittery golds and reds. You can see here I started to put some green on the bottom part of my eyes, but I ended up taking that away because I wasn't a fan. So then I'm just going in with some bronzer and blush and with a blush I definitely wanted to brace myself because I hate applying blush. I'm not the type of person who puts on a lot of blush. I think I'm even holding the brush wrong here but Because I never used blush, I didn't really know it was an appropriate amount, and I was like, okay, I think, I think this is all I need. But then I kept going. <laughs> So different from blush, I am not afraid to shy away from highlighter. I think also because I wear glasses is why I tend to stick with shimmery, glittery shades. And absolutely love putting highlighter above my Cupid's bow. Also, if you didn't notice, I didn't do any type of contouring. That's still something that I would like to learn going forward. So here we go with the fake freckles. There is an Instagram filter that I was using primarily for inspiration. So I don't know how well this was working to begin with. I kind of kept alternating between using the brow gel and a spoolie and just kind of trying to, in a semi-organized way, scatter the dots. And then I went in with a different spoolie with a different shade of brow gel. It's interesting because when I was younger I used to get freckles all over my face and so I think I remember I was thinking to myself like this doesn't look like how I used to look when I was younger but I kept going kind of like the blush I just didn't really know where or when to stop I think I passed a certain level of fear and then it just became fun to keep going and going I want to get ready with me without poking myself in the eye. Doing my liner like that just feels so good. Oh, so good. 
So just adding in a bit more gold that I wanted to show above where the liquid eyeliner would go. So at this point I was debating between adding in the falsies, the glamnetic lashes. I tried them only once before. So the liner for the glamnetic lashes smells so like, I can't even describe it. It just smells like straight up chemicals, but really not sure why I look so paranoid right there. <laughs> Maybe the smell was getting to me. The instructions say you're supposed to wait until it gets about 80% dry, if I remember correctly. So just testing it out and... So the moment of truth. I feel like every time I've watched an influencer video, it goes on much more seamlessly. Again, because I pretty much only ever wear mascara, I really never wear any type of falsies. I wasn't really sure how I was feeling myself. Didn't really know if I liked the way it looked and I couldn't figure out if it was how I was applying it or if it was just I'm not used to myself in lashes. So just trying to match with the eyeshadow of that coral terracotta reddish orange palette. Looking back at this, I feel like I'm making a lot of unsure or surprised faces. <laughs> like I really wasn't sure if I liked what I was putting on my face, but then of course it's kind of like once you make a move with some makeup on your face, it can be kind of a pain to remove it. <laughs> Just dabbing on some eyeshadow onto my lips. Then putting on my elf ears. And my go-to elf dress. I tend to always get told that my eyes look really sad and I felt like the lashes or maybe just how I did my makeup, I was looking more sad. but I didn't like how the gray looks, so switched to the pink. And now, at this point, I feel like if I kept messing with myself, I would just screw something up, so I decided to close the palettes up, close the makeup up. And there we go, shimmering, glittery, just how I love it. I was just wanting to get your reaction. Oh yeah, you look beautiful, my love. Oh, thank you. All right, I had to take off my lashes because they were really bugging me and took the wig off, so. If you're interested, I'll go ahead and put the products that I used in the description bar below. Otherwise, I hope that you enjoyed and wherever you're on the world, I hope you're having a beautiful day. Bye.